There's been a whirlwind and historic 24 hours with President Biden bowing out of the race for president while throwing his support behind his vice president, Kamala Harris. We have live team coverage tonight. Ho Jung Ru has reaction from local Democratic leaders. But first, we begin with Alyssa Hefner, who spoke with an ECU political science professor on how the shakeup will change the race for the White House. Alyssa. Dave, when I spoke with that professor here at ECU, he said regardless of who that Democratic nominee would be, he says he feels that the presidential race would be a close one. In a move that shook the political landscape, already reeling from an assassination attempt on former President Trump, President Biden announced Sunday he would not seek re-election. I wasn't terribly surprised by it. I thought it was more a matter of time rather than is he going to do it or not do it. ECU political science professor Brad Lockerbie says Biden should have made this call much sooner. Had he announced before the process started that he was a transitional figure, that he was um, here to be the bridge to the next group of Democrats, there would have been an open contest for the presidential nomination. Now with the Democratic National Convention just weeks away, Lockerbie said Vice President Harris, whom Biden has endorsed, is the best option for the Democratic Party. Within the next day or two, if nobody comes up and says, I'm going for it against Vice President Harris, um, it's all but a done deal at this point. Who spoke highly of the current president on Monday. In one term, he has already surpassed the legacy of most presidents who have served two terms in office. But with Biden, who is recovering from a COVID infection, posting his decision to drop out of the race on social media, Lockerbie questions his current state. To have such a monumental statement to the American populace that he's not going to be running for re-election after he's sewn up um, roughly 99% of the delegates, and to release it on X. Um, that struck me as a wee bit bizarre. However, he did say that the next nominee, if it was VP Harris, could bring election interest to other voters, but also lose some. Even though she may pull some more African-American votes, some more young voters, you got to look at the net. Who is she going to lose that Biden was able to get? And another big question on voters' minds is if Harris was to become the next nominee, who would be her running mate? I did ask Lockerbie, and he said he heard the potential of Governor Roy Cooper becoming the vice president nominee. However, he doesn't feel like that would pan out. Reporting live in Greenville, Alyssa Hafner, WYTN News. All right, thanks, Alyssa. WITN also asked Lockerbie about the likelihood of Biden dropping down or uh, stepping down before his term ends, and Lockerbie said that he does not see that happening. Let's turn